Two different categories of cyanosis exist, central and peripheral. Central cyanosis involves the entire blood supply having reduced amounts of oxygen and can be life-threatening. All tissue throughout the body is affected. Central cyanosis is often the result of severe disease, defect, or poisoning. Peripheral cyanosis occurs when only one location of the body is experiencing poorly oxygenated blood supply. Usually, it is a limb or tail that is affected. Local blood flow reduction is often connected with bloodstream obstructions or tourniquets on the limb. Cyanosis can happen at any age, but if it is found in a young cat, a genetic defect is often the underlying issue. When there is diminished oxygen in the blood, it changes color to a bluish tone. The off-colored blood, in turn, gives tissue color a blue, purple, or brownish tinge. Tissue color changes are termed as cyanosis, and are an indication of a health problem within the body. Health issues that result in lack of oxygen to the blood, a condition referred to as hypoxia, generally have to do with diseases of the heart and lungs or ingestion of harmful toxins. Symptoms of cyanosis in cats. While the most obvious symptom of cyanosis is the discoloration of visible skin, the common underlying causes of cyanosis carry many more complicated signs. Symptoms may develop rapidly and need immediate veterinary attention. Signs to watch for are as follows. Blue, purple, brown color of the lips, tongue and gums. Blue or purple foot pads. Lethargy. Anorexia. Weight loss. Dehydration. Difficult or open mouth breathing. Tachypnea, rapid breathing. Tiring easily. Poor coat. Cyanosis involving the circulatory system. Some cats are born with defects or abnormalities in the structure of their heart and surrounding blood vessels. The blood with low levels of oxygen may be shunted from the right side of the heart to the left, mixing with blood that has high levels of oxygen. This means the oxygen levels have been reduced before the blood is pumped out to the rest of the body. These structural abnormalities include patent ductus arteriosus, PDA, ventricular septal defect, VSD, atrial septal defect, ASD, tetralogy of Fallot an abnormal return of blood from the lungs, and an abnormal opening of the heart valves. Some cats may develop circulatory abnormalities that can lead to cyanosis. These acquired conditions include Degeneration of the heart valves Deterioration of the heart muscle itself Accumulation of blood or fluid in the sac surrounding the heart, the pericardium Blood clots in the lungs High blood pressure in the lungs, pulmonary hypertension Destruction of the red blood cells by the body's own immune system, immune-mediated hemolytic anemia or EMA. Shock. There are many different abnormalities in the respiratory system that can contribute to cyanosis, particularly since oxygen exchange is largely a function of the respiratory system. These conditions include Paralysis of the larynx Pneumonia Asthma Lung parasites, worms or flukes Bruising of the lungs from trauma Smoke inhalation Electrical shock. Diagnosis of cyanosis in cats. Once you bring your cat to a veterinary clinic or animal hospital, it may need to be stabilized before any diagnostic testing can be performed. Certain underlying issues severely interfere with breathing and can be fatal if not treated. Once the cat is in a sustainable condition, the veterinarian will perform a complete physical examination and will listen to the heart and lungs of the cat. You will need to provide the vet with your cat's full medical history. The first test that may be run is an arterial blood gas measurement. A blood sample taken from an artery is monitored while receiving oxygen supplementation. The blood will clear if lung disease is the underlying issue, and will not if an obstruction or poisoning has occurred. Pulse oximetry is another non-invasive test that provides a continuous reading of blood through the armpit or groin while oxygen is supplied. An ultrasound of the heart may be needed to see any defects are present. Electrocardiography may also be required if heart complications have been identified. Thoracocentesis can be used to remove a sample of fluid or gas in the chest cavity for testing. A transtracheal wash can help identify any bacterial infections in the lungs. Blood work including a complete blood count and a biochemical panel can help reveal the overall health of the cat. There are several factors that may hinder you and your veterinarian from being able to detect physical signs of cyanosis. For example, the red blood cell RBC, count can affect signs of cyanosis, a pet with severe anemia and a low number of RBCs may never show signs of cyanosis. 
The lower the hemoglobin concentration in a pet, the more the oxygen levels must fall before cyanosis can be clinically detected. Also, patients with shock, carbon monoxide poisoning, or those with abnormal hemoglobin may not show cyanosis well during a physical exam. Keep in mind that just because your pet's gums are pink, it doesn't necessarily mean that his oxygen levels are normal. Signs of cyanosis aren't always seen until end stage or severe hypoxemia. Treatment of cyanosis in cats. Treatment of cyanosis must include managing the underlying problem that led to cyanosis in the first place. The root cause of cyanosis in any cat may be life-threatening and may or may not be reversible. The presence of cyanosis reflects an emergency and demands immediate care to stabilize the cat in ways that improve oxygen levels in the blood and tissues. Therapy of cyanosis will depend on what is causing the condition. Congenital heart disease. If the condition is caused by congenital heart disease, the treatment is surgery. Chemical. If a chemical has affected the hemoglobin in such a way that it cannot carry oxygen properly, for example, by inducing the formation of methemoglobin, an abnormal type of hemoglobin that cannot carry oxygen, the treatment involves elimination of the cause, limiting any tissue injury due to poor oxygenation, and administration of medication, methylene blue, and acetylcysteine, if necessary. Respiratory disorder. If a respiratory disorder is the cause of the cyanosis, the underlying respiratory disease must be treated with antibiotics if pneumonia or chronic bronchitis is present, diuretics if fluid is building up in the lungs, thoracocentesis, which is removal of fluid or air from the chest cavity if fluid or air is causing the cyanosis, or supplemental oxygen is necessary. Oxygen therapy, removing fluid from the chest to relieve pressure on the lungs that prevent them from inflating, or creating an opening in the windpipe to facilitate breathing may be needed. Prescribed medications will depend upon the underlying diagnosis, and there may be a need for modified activity or a special diet depending on the underlying cause of the cyanosis. Recovery of cyanosis in cats. If your cat has undergone surgery for health problems related to cyanosis, recovery may be slow. All at-home care instructions should be followed to ensure the best possible outcome. Monitor the incision site daily to watch for swelling, bleeding or other signs of infection. Limit activity and keep the cat indoors during the healing process. A post-operative appointment will be needed to verify success of the surgery. Congenital defects are hard to prevent, however, any cat with defects should not be bred. This can help eliminate the passing on of hereditary issues. Keep all medications and chemicals locked away in your home to ensure your cat cannot access and ingest them. Wag. May collect a share of sales or other compensation from the links on this page. Items are sold by the retailer, not Wag. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.